Look who it is. The stranger that came out of nowhere and now has everyone talking. Some people want you to be a savior, a shining beacon of hope. Those people clearly haven't met you yet. Yeah, well. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. He's dead. Hawthorne was supposed to meet me when I landed. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. Marauders killed him. Hawthorne's dead. I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? But see how in RPGs they name characters? This is probably the mo the cleverest one that I've seen. I get it. You need to be me to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning yeah. remain intact. That's why I only but gave him a first name. Because now his last name is Hawthorne. Our main drive suffered yes. a critical power failure and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. We I don't have find a part like that just do, sitting do in we a garage. Have engineering five? Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. It won't the show up unless we can. Oh, really? Okay. In the electrical network. Cool, then that's good. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. Okay. This cartridge identifies you. Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? E Best of Thanks. luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. I will make a sincere attempt. Sure. Oh man. Skill improvements. It's a good do thing and Every make the skill up. improvement. Oh man. I leveled up. And oh I'm man. Oh, That's cool. So I can put a point in these things. In the touch. I'm going to put a point in tech. In the touch. I'm going to put three points in tech. Three points in the touch. Then I'm going to put three points in the dialogue. Then four points in ranged. Then I'm going to put three points in ranged. And one point in... I'm gonna put one point in... Stealth. Oh, great. I like it. Yes, thank you. You've unlocked location hit effects for tactical time dilation. Wow. Hitting enemies in different locations during TTD maims or cripples the body parts. Try different locations to see different effects. Hits to the chest produce different effects when using different weapons. Amazing. You have unlocked dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, you are autom they are automatically debilitated. Let's look at that skill then, eh? Yes, let us. So it's going to be under dialogue. Uh, I think it'd be under intimidate. Humans have a 20% chance to cower in fear for three seconds after the first time you hit them. 15% uh, chance auto mechanicals will slowly attack other enemies instead of you for 10 seconds. 20% chance creatures will become terrified and flee for 10 seconds after you kill one. Nice. Welcome to the perk selection. You can get perks. Get a perk every oh, two wow. levels. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, I can get wow. more health. I can get more TTD meter. I can get 
Uh, Plus 25 damage when alone. Yeah, if I don't have a companion, but we're going to run with companions probably. Walk speed, sprint speed, weapon armor, durability loss. I kind of like that one so far. Yeah, I like that one a lot. What's That's precision? Precision is a 15% companion crit chance. Mm. I don't care about that necessarily. Pack mule is a good perk. Yeah, that looks good. Um, recharge rate for TTD goes up. 50%. 50% is pretty good. Uh, fast travel winning when encumbered. XP from companion kills goes up. Vendor prices go, go down. down. Um, I would say either pack mule like this one. or high maintenance. Yeah. What oh, was wait. in your other... Um... See, oh. I've just got many of the same weapons. Yeah. What are you um, in your journal? What's in your journal? Oh, that's a... Um... It's it's just my quest. Oh, sounds See, good. So now i got to find a power regulator. Wait, we can botch? Yes. Ooh. You can just screw up missions. Amazing. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Uh, no. In it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. What do you want? I think we can lie. I don't want to have to attack. You've got it all wrong. I'm a starship safety inspector. I'm just a safety inspector. I'm a safety inspector. That's okay. That's okay. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Take, Take care. care. Take care, stupid lady. Oh, I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a thing. Yes, yes, armor management, remember, huh? I could wear Ooh. this, and I could wear a helmet. Let's check them out. What does it look does it like? Put the helmet on. Put the. There's oh, that's oh. so cool. A locket. A lock very much. You make me look like a raider, though. Yeah, I'm a raider. I I raid. The the cookie jar. The color. Uh, uh, when I die, the colors of something something from Guardians of the Galaxy 2 will show up. Narm, narm, narm. I don't think that's what they were the colors of. Narm, If narm, they were the narm. colors of narm, 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 they need to think of better names. I was talking about raiding the cookie jar. Narm, narm, narm. I'm a raider. Only thing I do is raid the cookie jar. We should we should get rid of their legs. We should just murder their legs. Look at their legs. They don't need legs. I don't think they need legs. They don't need far. legs. We should murder them though. We really should. I like well, that. I don't think I can just take them down in a straight stealth encounter. No, I don't think so. But we can take out their leg. Well, I'm not hoping that there hurt. are explosive canisters up there so we can start this off with a bang. Oh yeah. That sounds pretty fun. I thought this was a big ol' um, snipey boy, though. I thought this was a sneaker man. A sneaker man. He do a sneak. He do yeah. a sneak snork. I'm, I'm doing many sneak right now. Oh, he do many sneak. Big sneak. Big sneaks. Big ol' sneaks. Oh. That boy's interested. What's going on, boy? Is Timmy stuck in the well? Hmm. Oh, that's a hundred extra. I thought I remembered barrels good. being here. Hmm. Barrels. Shotgun to face. But not shotgun. A little tiny itty bitty handgun. But still to face. Yeah, sit down. That's perfect. And bank. Oh man. 
blind bleed. Hit him right in the that part. Hit him right in the crotch. Hit him. Wow, you're aiming really good, bud. Yeah, right. Well, oh, that worked out well. First death. Hey, look at that. We're growing so much. Are we? Emerald Veil. Raising your dialogue skills is good for conversations and also unlocks combat di dialogue abilities that distract and disable your enemies. Yeah. Disable. Disable. Well, sometimes you can scare them so much that they cower in fear forever. And then you're just like, I guess I'm just going to walk in. And they're like, Your okay, mama. And their you. knee just goes, just snaps out of place. Ah! I've been slain. All because I said, Your mama. Your mama. Your mama. Joe mama. So I was out with Joe the other day. Who's Joe random person attacking our base? Joe Mama. <gasps> As he just dies right then and there. His, it's a Joe Mama joke. His, the connection from his brain to his heart just like snaps. And then it's just like, oh. He do not work no more. He no work human. Dipenko. Oh, that's a weird voice. It kind of sounds like Claptrap. Right. Doi, Bay. We're doing great. Do you need, like, Turn up or down the sensitivity? I don't think so. Because it looks like you're doing a bit of overcorrection when mm, you're... Maybe. So maybe just, like, turning down the um the sensitivity a little bit might help your aim. It might. One nice thing about this game, no stamina gauge. No stamina gauge. Oh, man, that's great. I do like games with no stamina gauges because stamina gauges can be good. They're good for, like, a Dark Souls, for example. But I then like a Dark Souls. When you have a game where you just run all the time, having to constantly engage and disengage sprint really sucks. He a cripply boy now. Oh no. I shot his arms off. His arm will no work no more. Oh man, his arm will decided to take a Saturday off. Yeah, are you doing a bit of overcorrection? Yes, yes. I'm just trying to help. Oh, man. You know what actually has really good music that I started listening to? What? Bojack Horseman. That's weird. I know, right? But, like, the music on that show is actually really good. Well, there's one episode that it's particularly good. Um, where it's all completely silent. Really? And it's just music. Fun. There's no dialogue because There's... he's underwater and he doesn't know how to talk underwater. Wait, really? Yeah, and he's hanging out with fish. Anthropomorphized fish. Awesome. It's in season two, I think. I'm only on like episode six or seven. Yeah, it's an okay show. I don't know. I'm kind of enjoying it so far. It, it gets all lefty and all up its butt after a while. Ah, oh, sounds fun. Whoa, hey. Hello, friend. Where'd you come from? Running around in a marauder's attire. Mm, you're liable to give some people the wrong idea. Yeah, well. Uh-huh. 
Not my problem. Not my problem. All right, cool. Thanks. Thanks. Nobody asked for your opinion, Silas. Jeez. And low, low prices. I don't think they're very low. Nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne, captain of the Unreliable. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Nice. Who do I talk to about a power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor. That's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? It depends on the work. You offering me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. They Renting rent their money. graves. Money means paperwork. Wow. Paperwork means signatures. So when they die, they continue to rent dues, them. They charge the family. This place is freaking awful. Yeah. That sounds that sounds pretty great. You want me to collect what's owed to you? I can do that. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Why is Abernathy a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'm pretty sure we found all the quests that can come out of that. Yep. And we don't want this to be a 17 hour let's play. What? We already got Death Stranding that's gonna be like a crazy epic. Oh my god. That's gonna be so long. And by the way, I'm gonna be in on that too. So that's pretty cool. So, yeah. Are you? Watch for that. I am. Are you? Yep. Mm -hmm. Are you? Yep. Mm -hmm. Are you? Uh-huh. I don't know. Are you? Uh-huh. Raising your determination skill unlocks the ability to heal your companions when you activate your inhaler. You know, your inhaler. The inhaler that I've been healing with. Yeah, you just you, you just heal it. When, when you're getting damaged in battle, you just gotta vape it up, bruh. Just, just... Vape it up, you get, you get shot, just pull out your jewel. And vape it up, bruh. It helps, bruh. Yeah. Hey, it's mango flavored. It's mango flavored health, bruh. You can actually flavor your health in this. Um, if you go to your healing items... You can actually put these on your slots, and it gives you bonuses. Awesome. So, like this one, uh, base health plus 25% last two minutes. Awesome. Great on fish sticks. Um. Sorry, I didn't find a device named sticks. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thank you, Echo. Uh, it's, it's, it's silent now. Yep, we told the woman to shut up. We sure did. It uh -huh. was really satisfying. You know, um, apparently I've got really soft hands. People keep calling me a great misogynist. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, interesting thing about I'm this joking. game that changes how things work. Yeah, what's up? As long as no one steal, uh, as long as no one sees you steal stuff, that's just that stuff's yours. Awesome. Like in Skyrim, it was different because the uh, it would still be marked in your inventory as, as stolen. stolen. So yeah. if someone catches you stealing, they will they will take everything that you've ever stolen ever that's in your inventory. Yeah. How would you know that cheese belonged to Rando and freaking White Run, dude? How would you know that? I don't know, it looks pretty stolen to me. That cheese there, who oh no. Have you ever had stolen? It's freaking amazing. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, stolen, the dessert. The German dessert. 
No, I don't know. It's like, oh my gosh. Um, it's super unhealthy, but it's like, it it's it's like a Danish, but like really long, and it's got powdered sugar on it and a couple more things, but it's just like, it's... There's this one bakery that makes it just... Just right. It's beautiful. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson? I think there's someone here to see you. Oh, hello. Focus, Miss. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. But she I do did. Apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I must say, wearing he's the grand poobah of being terrible at your job. You should show your uniform Apparently. with more respect. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. <laughs> Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Well, yay! Only regulator we've got is hooked up to the town transformer. Pavati. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But. But what if I, I just to took your power regulator? And I happen mm. to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Ooh, who am I Ooh, going to have to uh, murder? Uh, let well, me guess, you want me to do something for you before you'll help me? My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Oh, I'm sure that's totally above board. What do you want me to say? Uh, when you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. What a surprise, I never would have guessed. I never would have guessed, no, not never. You were bound to run into them sooner or later. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. So basically what he's saying is go crush the rebellion. Basically. What do you want me to say? If you want me to solve your deserter problem, I charge by the head. Good law, no, I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. That's a good way to get shot. Can't make any promises. Of course, I understand completely. Let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want a guide. Yes, in case you I want mean, a companion you, to Thompson. be with you for your whole mission. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holt. So, this is, uh, is uh, this is, uh, uh, uh what's her name? In, um, in, uh, Firefly. Sure, I could use the company. Great. I got my wrenches and Yee. diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. All right, goodbye. I'm going to go I'm home. Great. We're leaving now. Bye. Whoop. Companions. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. Are we gonna get her, or did she, she already with come us. with? Oh, cool. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Okay, cool. Um, she is Kinsey. Hey, Mister. I forget her name. The mechanic on the on no. the Firefly. 
Oh, no, serenity. we can't talk. Can we talk? No. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Okay. Um... Can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. That'd be my... Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but... Every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Let's go talk to the vicar. Thanks, yeah. Mr. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's yep. what dad used to say anyways. Good. All it's right. always good to cool. have all the facts. So we're just going to take the power and leave and not tell them at all. They're fine, people. Can we... Is it an option to take our... To take their uh, yeah. generator? I don't know. If it's possible to take their generator, I kind of want to do it. But I'm... I'm Let's assuming go. that it can't. Regulator, sorry. Where is the vicar? I'm pretty sure the objective is a vicar. But there are three objectives. I don't know which oh. one is which. That's actually oh, kind of man. interesting. What? The guy that we saw got shot, his name was Wilson. Wilson. I know yeah. this from the last playthrough where I was talking to him all, uh, quite a bit, actually. Um, the funny thing is, they just said, hey, did you hear about Wilson? I think, the, I, I heard the Marauders got him. Yeah. Um. So that's kind of nuts. Was so these it, are all doors out. Oh, was it the guy who was... The guy in the armor. The guy in the armor that from back at the shot. ship? Yeah. Oh. Emerald Vale region. The only source of protein a busy, a busy worker needs. Saltuna. Edgewater. Man, that's some edgy water. Sure is. Oh, man. That's... Oh, no. Oh, no. It listened to a lot of MCR. Who? Oh, My Chemical Romance. Yeah. Right? Eh. He's mm. very salty all the time. Oh, no. Oh, no. So much salt. Very many rocks. Many salt. Many salt in the rocks. I think the vicar is actually in town. Yes, he is. Look at Terror them, they're gross. Terror ray, yeah. That looks really fun. That looks fun to run into. Flying enemies. I love flying enemies, except that they're horrible and I hate them. Oh man, flying enemies. Wow. Oh man, I love it. I love it. One, it's great. Indigenous fauna. Ch 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 chapter one, I guess. 
Yeah, so that'll be him. Another day at the cannery. I don't know. This is really weird. Okay, yeah, I think that is him. Well, hello, is there anything? Oh, there oh is that's the box. Toughened. It's a weapon modification. Ooh. You can install mods at a workbench. Fun. Where is the door into his little household? Or oh, his household door. Oh, you're right there. Oh, we were right here. Look. It looks pretty questionable to me. Yeah, well. This is the vicar. Hello. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. Yes. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. We will mind you. We get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season's toss ball predictions. The quickest way out of town. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. Mm -hmm. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? That seems well within your expertise. The way we do it's by cutting off power to the others. The ones who left. Adelaide McDevitt's encampment. Mm -hmm. I can see why that troubles you. Miss mm -hmm. Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. What do you want? Um, sounds like you've got my work cut out, uh, cut out for me. If yeah. you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Uh huh. And why is that? <laughs> or whatever. The marauders uh. I met when I ventured outside the walls might agree with you. Bastard snuck up on me while I was dutifully hunting for a banned book in a collector's library. Barely escaped with my life. But you see, one of the reasons I transferred here was to get my hands on that heretical text. If you managed to acquire it for me, I'd pay quite a handsome sum for the book. Okay. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? I'm very serious whenever it has to come to money. What do you want? I'll need to know a little bit more about this before I agree to this. It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time. It's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. Should they ever read it. I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. So do you want to do side missions first or complete the main? I'm going to let you make that decision. I kind of want to do side missions. Side I like side mish. And then Parody's like, "What are what why are we doing this?" And we're like, "It's very important." This is the most important one because it gets us Max as a uh, as our shepherd book. Amazing. I'm going to be making a lot of Firefly references just saying. Yeah, her name is Kinsey. That's what it is. Terror on Monarch 12 and she's the amazing mechanic. episodes. And she wants the dock super bad. 
She's like really into him. And he doesn't know because he's like, I gotta save my sister. And she's like, but I just, could we just like, could we go? I gotta save my sister. Oh, gotta man. Serve her, gotta save it. 12 gotta amazing save episodes. Sister. Do you think that's an... That's a reference to how Firefly was cut short. No. Twelve amazing episodes. No. No. Because not of not all of uh, their episodes were amazing. Fair. Like the one where um, Jane is a hero in this little town. That one's annoying. Mostly because it's Jane having a good time in his life ever. Oh, hello. For me. Aww. Shot right in the head. Oh no. Huge OT. Thank you. Oh man, flying enemies. Don't you oh, love boy. flying enemies? Thank you. Flyer boys. Oh man, I love it. Patori beak. Look, it's the mating habits of them. The oh, female no, terrorists Lord. leave the nesting area in the morning and return in the afternoon with random objects. Typically something shiny or bright. Then they build displays with these. The females do? Yeah. And perform what I can only describe as a dance for an audience of males. If a male likes what he sees, the two go off and nest together in one of the nearby trees. Gerald, if you're reading this, I'm done waiting for you. Collect my things and meet me at the next site. And don't be late. I expect punctuality from my assessment. Well, I, that sounds like Birdfish Club. You know, bird fl bird, Birdfish Nightclub. They make the little disco ball, then they do a dance, and then they're like, "This well, you one's know. mine." Uh -huh. Oh, look at shrooms! We should lick them. Lick the shroom. Lick the shroom. Can you lick the shroom? Can you do it? Look at, and then it all just goes even more psychedelic colors. Yes. That's like, yay! I did it. It'd be funny if you could get yourself get like high, yay. drunk or high. I'm so you I'm go around and shoot people dead. while you're high. Dude, there's there are so many games where you shoot people while you're high. Wait, really? Yeah. Far Cry Three, uh, GTA Five. Um, those are the only two that I can think of at the moment, but there Wait. are. I mean, I guess it's... I didn't know you could do drugs in GTA 5. Yeah, you can do, like, super drugs in GTA 5. Wow, that's a lot. You can do, like, crazy amounts of drugs. That's pretty crazy. Crazy amounts of drugs. Light ammo and heavy ammo. Oh, boy. Why do people throw bullets in the trash can? Nobody knows. No, because it's fun. I love them bullets in the trash I can. I mean, that's fair. I usually keep my bullets in the trash can. You know, for when I want to do things. Look, it's got messages. Oh, man, I'm lore. Read those. Look at the lore. There's lore just all over the place. I'm not going to read them, though. You can't oh, make Oh, a mag pick. I need three of those so I can unlock the thing. Awesome. I need a sleigh of some. I need. Oh, hello. I want 12. I want 12 of them. The collector's letter. Oh, Lord. I just got the letter today. Corporate ordered me to relocate to Edgewater Cannery effective immediately. Uh. Okay, so. You stash him in a cave over by the river. Yay. I see. The general. We have 10 points of our power. Um, oh yeah. I'm gonna put 3 points in range. Um, 3 points in dialogue. I'm gonna put 3 points in dialogue. 3 in touch. I'm gonna put 1 in stealth. 3 in tech. Yeah. 
Yay! Apparently the level cap in this game is 30. Oh wow, so... But if it allows you to distribute all those points, I can kind of see it. There's sometimes yeah. where it's like, why is it so low? But 30 is actually a pretty common one. Yeah. Oh, hello. Don't worry about me. Crap. Wait, we didn't even check out if there were any shops or anything. Hey, you! There are shops. We should check oh, and see if the there's ground. a lo long gun. I'll find one eventually. I'll actually kill somebody with one. You not wanting to pay for anything? Uh, not at the moment. I don't really have anything. Oh, crap. Oh, man.